Welcome back to Catalan Courses. In this chapter, we'll dive into the basic concept of the test automation pyramids and a strategy to apply various types of tests and testing frequency in each level. Before launching to the market, every software system needs testing at different levels to ensure it high quality for specific objectives. Typical test level consists of, from the pyramid base to the top, unit testing, integration testing or service testing, system testing, and acceptance testing. All will be discussed later in this chapter. Generally, unit testing come in the first stage where module, feature, and function are separately tested. Integration testing take place in the next stage to test the interaction between those functions or system, which is why they are often called system integration testing. Next up, system testing is where the complete system is validated for both functional and non-functional aspect before moving to the last level. User acceptance testing conducted by clients and end user to validate whether the application meets their expectation. Although all of these testing activities can be done manually or automated, acceptance testing is preferred to conduct manually. Test automation pyramid was first introduced by Mike Kong in his book Succeeding with Agile. It emphasizes having a large number of tests at the lower level and the number of tests decreases as development move it to the upper level. In the Agile project, this concept is also referred to as shift left, where defects are eliminated as early as possible in the life cycle. Before getting more in-depth about unit testing, let's determine the definition of a unit. In short, a unit is a piece of functionality you can test independently on multiple aspects and function. For instance, each unit corresponds to each small element of the Lego duck which can be separated. To be more specific, Unit tests call a function with different parameters and receive expected value. In this process, external dependencies are removed by applying a test implementation or a mock object created by a testing framework. Thus, what you need here is a suitable unit testing framework to support your programming language. So why do we need unit testing in an Agile project? Yet, introducing regression in the Agile method is at high risk due to extensive code chum. To prevent software build from breaking, Development team usually run automated unit tests before the source code is checked into the main line of the CM system. Do keep in mind that the automated unit test result provide immediate feedbacks on code and build quality, but not on product quality. Moving up to the next level, we will talk about integration testing, a type of software testing focusing on the components or system interaction. This level is often called service testing which implies that the testing action is performed in the interface to test the interaction of integrated services. There are many ways to define integration testing. Hence, ask yourself what exactly you need to test is important. Perhaps, your demand is to call other application API, the communication between modules within a system, or even the operation between hardware and software. There are two levels, component integration testing and system integration testing. So to put it simply, Let's say your system comprises of two modules, A and B. After finishing unit tests, you will start verifying if these two modules communicate properly in both functional and non-functional aspects. It's a different story when you have to test between two different systems. For example, after your tests are executed in Catalan Studio, the testing reports are automatically sent through your test off, which is an external service. Testing the communication between these two systems is called system integration testing. As mentioned above, each test level has its own objective. To begin with, integration testing helps ensure the effective interaction between internal and external services, whereas unit testing verifies individual service or function. However, integration testing requires high effort since you have to merge related elements and deploy them on a test environment. And this is true for both manual and automated. There is one solution to handle the integration testing problem, that is contract testing. It's a methodology for ensuring that two separate systems, such as two microservices, are compatible to one another. It also captures the interaction exchange between each service and store them in a contract, then verify them that both parties adhere together. Coming to the next level, now it's time for user interface testing, often named the UI testing. With web interface, your UI testing can achieve two objectives. First, is to make sure that your application presentation layers works well across multiple browsers, such as Chrome, Microsoft Edge, 
various devices such as PC, tablets, mobile devices that have different screen size or different platforms such as iOS and Android. Now, you may think about visual testing, and yes, there are tools to support this testing type. The second objective here is the UI end-to-end -end testing, which mainly aim to verify the business processes and workflow of the application under test. For the fact that you need to deploy the complete application to the test environment for your testing activities, this is definitely a costly process. Moreover, you might need plenty of end-to-end -end testing scenario, from simple to complex, to satisfy the functionality and non-functionality of the application under test. Beside manual testing, regression test suite are usually automated to run faster, in parallel, and consistently. And among popular frameworks, Selenium has constantly been among the top choice when it comes to UI end-to-end -end testing. With Selenium, you can pick up any browser and let it automate your website, submit various data, and update changes to the user interface. This kind of automated test allows tests to be run on a driver or in headless mode. A headless browser is a tool for automated testing and server environment in which, without a visible UI shell, you can still integrate your test into the CI-CD tools. Nowadays, almost all browsers can support headless mode. When working with UI automated testing, you may face many obstacles. Typically, the three common challenges are, first, the application change frequently. So for instance, your competitor have just released a new feature or their new technology to adopt into your current application. Second of all is this different way of error handling in the same system. So for example, in the same web system, there are some screen or pages that use inline error messages, while the other use dialog or JS pop-up to show out er error message. And finally, the cross-browser testing. With website, you need to make sure that your system works well on different supported browsers such as Chrome, Firefox, and Internet Explorer 11. To resolve this obstacle, you need to have a solid test automation solution that requires your team intensive automation testing knowledge and programming skills. Luckily, there are codeless UI testing solutions available for you, such as Catalan Studio. With it, you are able to test your web, desktop, and mobile application without writing a single line of codes. So, in a nutshell, we've walked you through the overall concept of test automation pyramids, also its benefit and consideration for applying test automation. While detecting new bugs in your system is not the only responsibility you have, it does verify that your existing feature is functioning well, especially when code changes are too frequent. Remember that regression testing should be automated to gain a higher ROI.